In this video, we're going to teach you how to make a perplexing circuit. The supplies you'll need to build your perplexing circuit are copper tape, which is also sold as slug repellent, sometimes in the garden section. You can ask people from Oregon about that. A 2032 button battery, a template from this amazing website, a medium binder clip, scissors, and LEDs in these five colors, which are generally sold together red, yellow, green, blue, and white. Additionally, you might want to buy an orange LED to go along with this set to as an extension, which you can read about in the lesson. A quick note about green LEDs. Occasionally, when you buy these green LEDs in bulk with the other colors, you will get these LEDs that are greenish. They're kind of an orangish green color. So you might have to buy some additional green LEDs by themselves so you get these really fantastic bright LEDs. Those are the ones we want to use for this experiment. You might know that LEDs are directional. LED stands for light emitting diode. And so you'll notice that on the two leads, one is slightly shorter than the other. That shorter lead is the negative lead and the longer lead is the positive lead and if you set up the LED on the battery backwards it won't actually light up. The short negative lead has to go to the back of the battery, the negative side, and the longer lead has to go to the positive side of the battery that has the writing on it or it won't light. In order to be able to tell those two leads apart the easiest thing to do is take the negative lead for each of your LEDs and bend it straight out at a 90 degree angle like this. Then we're going to take our scissors and we're going to cut off about an eighth of an inch off of that uh, short LED lead so that now when I bend the positive lead out in the opposite direction it's very obvious which one is the short lead and which one is the long lead. I'm going to do that for each one of these LEDs So now that I have all of my LEDs prepped with the leads, the negative leads cut off just a little bit more so that we can really tell which is the short negative lead and which is the long positive lead. Now we're going to put our leads of copper tape onto our paper circuit. So I'm going to take my copper tape and hold it against the gray section with the backing still on, and I can either use my scissors or I can just tear this copper tape. When you look at the copper tape, in order to get it off the backing, it's easiest just to rub your finger along the edge and it'll start to curl up and come off. Then you can grab it, and one thing you don't want to do is then just rip the backing off because then you get this curly cued version of the copper tape that's really difficult to deal with and it gets all messed up and it's very frustrating. So don't do that. Instead, once you've measured your piece of copper tape for one of the leads that we need and tear that off, rub your finger along the end to get this started, then just pull it off about an inch or so, bend the backing back and get this started where it needs to go onto the template. So now I've got the end started and now I'm just going to gently pull off the backing and tap it down every inch or so as I go to make sure that it's in the right place. And once I get near to the end I can pull off the backing but catch the end of the tape so that it doesn't curl up and then tap it down for the rest, smooth it out a little bit. You might even use the back of your fingernail to really get it adhered to the template. Now we need to do the positive lead, so we'll measure out our copper tape, tear it off, again, get it started by rubbing our finger here, pull this off just a little bit, bend the backing back, get it started, and here again, just tack it down every inch or so, so that it stays lined up and then you can pull the backing off, grab the end of it, and put it in place the rest of the way. If you happen to 
get a break in your copper tape that goes all the way through. Copper tape is pretty inexpensive, so you should just start over with a piece of uh, copper tape that's one whole piece for each side of your circuit. Now that we have that done, we're going to need five small pieces of copper tape to tape down the long positive leads of our LED. We're only going to tape down the long positive lead because the negative lead is going to be the switch for our circuit. So the order that you put the LEDs in doesn't matter, but we're going to bend up the negative lead a little bit so it'll be off of the negative side and be open for our switch. Then take one of these small pieces of tape and get it started. Pull it off the backing because it's little, it won't curl up too much. And even though it looks like our LEDs might be laying on their side, we really want them pointing straight up. So I've got the long LED off to the right, and now I'm just going to put this little piece of tape on top of that long leg so it's sandwiched between the copper tape that is the lead and now this piece of copper tape that's attaching it to the positive side. The negative side is over here and again it's bent up off of that negative lead so that this will be our switch to turn it on by closing the circuit or off by letting it be open again. And now we just need to repeat that with the rest of our LEDs. And again, you might just need to go back through and make sure that the negative leads are up off of the copper tape that's on the left side for the negative lead to our circuit so that they won't be on when we put our battery in place. This line right here is your guide for where to fold this um, back and forth. It's best to fold it back first so you can see where it needs to be folded and then bend it forward along that same line so that we have it in place for where we're going to put our battery and then our binder clip to hold this in place. Open up your battery and when you open up your battery the positive side has the writing on it, the negative side is the side that's kind of textured with no writing on it. That negative side with the texture goes down onto the circuit this way and the positive side is going to bend over and touch the top positive side that's facing up and so once we have that in place, we're going to hold it, take our binder clip. Again, this could also be a large paper clip and put that right in the center of the battery and then flip these levers over so that it's held in place. And now to test our circuit to make sure everything is set up and ready to go, we're just going to test each light individually to make sure that it works. And if it doesn't, just secure your tape a little bit better. Looks like they're all working. And our last final step is to make sure that we number the LEDs. And so as a class, you have to decide either to number them one, two, three, four, five, or you could number them one out here, two, three, four, five. But make sure everybody does it the same so that when you're comparing rules, you're talking about the same LEDs. So we'll number ours one, two, three, four, five. And now your perplexing circuit is ready to go. Now it's up to you to figure out what are the rules for how it works. Have fun.